excellent job. Glad to see everybody who's working in there. You're doing fantastic, especially for a Friday. Hey guys, here are the answers to the do or the time to climb the do now. The first one was a bar graph. It told you that they were uh, rectangular boxes that went horizontal, which is this way, and vertical, which is up and down. The next one was very easy. It even told you that it was divided into a stem and leaf. Uh, so, oh, and I forgot to put leaf, stem and leaf plot. I just put stem and plot. Okay, so I'm gonna have to fix this up. Give me a second here. All right, so got it back to stem and leaf plot. Next one was rubies which is read, underline, barf up what you know, identify the question, eliminate, and solve it. The last one, or number four, talked about a table, which happened to be about frequency, the table about how many times things happen, and then the last one said that you use dots to graph it, so it was a dot plot. Hopefully you got that pretty quickly. Now we're going to our objective. I want to go ahead and pause the video and get a Brave Scholar to go ahead and read this. Excellent, excellent, yes. Scholars will be able to solve multiple multi-step problems on graphs and plots. We're going to continue to do that. We are learning to do multiple steps. We've been doing that all year long we're just going to continue it and what are we going to be doing we're going to be doing this draw it and you know me before we get started i want to show you some things that i want to get to i want to go ahead and model if i can just a little bit so that you understand what we're going to be looking for here all right uh i'm going to be using rubies so i'm going to put ruby somewhere up here so i'm going to so i know that i use it I'm choosing this is because I already know that you use it for science. I know that you used it the year before. So this will be something that's easy for you to remember. It's a good strategy and we can use it across all contents. So I'm going to read the problem first and uh, I'm comparing it says com complete the graphic organizer to solve the problem. So I'm looking at the at the chart right here. Then I'm looking at the graphic organizer here. So I'm going to be reading it. First, I'm gonna read, okay, I got my favorite genre of literature. It's historic, realistic fiction, science fiction, and adventure. All right, question. How many more students chose realistic fiction and adventure than historic fiction and science fiction? Hmm, I'm gonna have to underline some words. How many more than and and? I got a question to ask you before I start barfing things up. What words in here mean addition and subtracting? Addition or subtraction? Excellent, yes, you are correct. How many more here? Let's just know that we're going to subtract. So I can start doing my barfing up here. And and means that I'm going to add. So I'm going to use my signs here. And then, well, I'm going to subtract this first one from this. So then is as part of the how many more than. All right. So I haven't finished reading, so I cannot scratch out the reading because I got all this to look at. So the first part says, see, well, I'm gonna see what? Students chose realistic fiction. Oh, so I see how many were there. Then how many students show, chose adventure? How many students chose historical fiction? How many students chose science fiction? So I'm gonna do the first one. I see that, let's see here, two, four, six, eight, 10, 
12, and the middle will be 11 for realistic. So I'm going to put 11 right there. In the draw, I'm going to let you go ahead and finish these right here. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and do, I've already done some underlining. I already did some barfing up. Find the sum. Oh, 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 a vocabulary. Find the sum. I'm still underlining. Look at this. And find the sum of this and. So that means I'm adding. So that means sum means to add. All right. Adventure and historic fiction and. So I'm underlining here, adding and fiction. Then find the difference. So that lets me know I got to subtract right here. So I got a lot of stuff to do. Then it looks like I'm going to do it right here. Then I'm going to have to reflect. I'm going to give you three minutes to get that uh, draw it done. Then we'll come back and see what the answers are. Let's pause this. See you in the next